Here's a question for all you wannabe coffee farmers out there. Is it possible to make coffee taste less terrible while still maintaining the taste of coffee? Now, what I mean by that is, is there a way to extract the essence of coffee and put it into coffee to keep the taste of coffee perfectly intact without changing anything about coffee? While this might sound contradictory to the initial question I posed to you, I actually think there is something a lot deeper going on here. This coffee bean in my hand, which you obviously can't see because your device is in a window into viewing other dimensions, is a coffee bean. That is to say, it was most likely cultivated somewhere along the bean belt. But the bean belt isn't a real belt, which is an important distinction to make. It's only a metaphorical belt that you can't see with your eyeballs. I think the fact that this belt is invisible to the naked eye encapsulates the issue at hand here perfectly. It's an issue that requires thorough and contextual knowledge of coffee cultivation. You see, when coffee was first being cultivated, the repercussions that coffee had on the human tongue were never taken into consideration that being mainly the bitterness. To analyze this, we can look at coffee farming techniques. You've got a few to choose from that humanity has amassed through the collective consciousness. And for the most part, coffee farming has remained relatively consistent for literally hundreds of thousands of years. The bean itself is sweet, and yet for some reason, when it's put into coffee, the bean starts tasting like coffee. It's interesting to note that coffee is a bean. You know, I think the main reason coffee starts tasting like coffee when it's put into coffee is because of how it's fermented for a period of three to four days during the farming process. This is said to bring out the richness in flavor. But I think that's just indicative of another problem which is that coffee is actually the seed of a cherry-like fruit. Cherries, of course, are sweet. They're sour. They're bright. Kind of like this quote from Abraham Lincoln. Most folks are about as happy as they make up their minds to be. And I think that in the minds of coffee drinkers, they are happy to be drinking coffee. But that leads us to another issue that I think is hiding in plain sight here. So when we're extracting the coffee essence, from the coffee bean. We have to ask ourselves, what is the bigger picture here? And now to go back to the initial question I posed to you, I think there is a valuable lesson here that we can all learn from. Capturing the essence of coffee when you're farming coffee isn't what's important. What's important is capturing the essence of coffee when you're farming it. I'd now like to dedicate these last minutes of the video to thanking my sponsors, 